Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Aries. Now this one will be for the second half or the last half of April 2023. And if you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support and if you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates and if it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Just remember though, it's not going to suit everyone. It's just take what resonates, leave what doesn't and remember time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. All right, let's see what's going on. Aries. Two cups. Okay, so there's something you don't have answers about. You didn't get closure in a situation. Um, you also, there's also a lack of compassion here um with this person or them with you as i said take as resonates um but yeah to me it looks like there's something that you definitely didn't get closure with and maybe you want that sort of you know clarity you want you want answers tell me more yeah, this is a past love that you've had. And I feel like this wasn't something that was short term. It could be a brunette female, don't have to be, and there could have been gossip. Um, but I feel like you've got good friends around you. You're focusing on work. You know, you're enjoying being single. Um, but, yeah, I I feel like this, this was definitely something that wasn't just a quick fling. Uh, there could have been a mature woman involved. So maybe this was somebody's mom, some, like, just somebody, you know, older, sister, whatever. Something where somebody got involved, ex, something um but yeah i feel like you you didn't really get answers about whatever happened with this so maybe this person walked away um tell me more ah but there's going to be some sort of awakening yeah you're definitely going to receive Maybe someone's going to give you some sort of communication or something like that. Um, but I do feel like you need to make sure you're open to receiving. Um, I don't... Look, your wishes, you know, your wishes were not going to come true with this person anyway. Um, and this is the... Uni Sorry, hiccups. This is the universe's way of protecting you, looking out for you. Um, this person, I don't feel like you really saw who they were. Uh, there is some regret, but yeah, there was definitely a cycle that's being completed, which, which is good because, as I said, I feel like this is definitely something that, in the end, you know, as much as we all have been in a situation where we haven't got closure, sometimes just not getting closure is closure, is closure. you know what I mean? Like, are we going to get the full truth from somebody anyway? You know, like, if they if they walked away because they they cheated, are they going to tell you? Or if they walked away because they didn't love you anymore, is that going to make it better? Like, a, you know, something I've just kind of realised. Tell me more. Yeah, you feel like you were abandoned though. So you might have to do some inner, inner child like healing, inner child work. Um, but like they're telling you, look, don't settle. You don't have to settle. Tell me more for Aries.
yeah, as I said, there's regret here, but I feel like I feel like the they don't feel that much regret anymore. Maybe as time's gone, time's passed. Um, yeah, look, <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> like, they don't feel regret anymore. Um, they could have felt regret at the beginning, but not anymore. You have a tribe. You have, as I said, you've got these people around you, family, friends, whoever this is. They're there for you if you need. Um, for some of you, though, or actually for everyone that this, re this um, resonates for, I feel like you just need to surrender. Like, let it go. You know, let the universe help you. Yeah. You haven't yet done healing. You need to do that that inner child healing you need to heal your heart from this situation because i feel like this is this this situation you know probably really hurt you oh look you've even got offer here so even if someone comes in to offer you something i don't even think you're interested um focus on your self-worth and something might be happening in spring and this person will want to return not a good idea but you are going to be ascending by doing this healing so you will get some sort of understanding and i feel like you're going to get closure but you need to learn the lesson you need to be okay being on your own because otherwise you're just going to keep having destruction like relationships are not going to work because you haven't yet done whatever healing you need to do Yeah, this person's wearing a mask. You got teddy bear in reverse. Yeah, this person is not interested. As I said, they might come in and tell you they're interested, maybe because they're single and they don't want to be alone. In the end, not your problem, right? You need to work on you. This this is not a good situation because this is they don't want to date. They don't want to. They're not interested in you, right? They're going to come in and tell you, oh, I think you're my soulmate, blah, blah, blah. I just, yeah, look, you've got to, you've got to realize this relationship is over, right? You are going to be getting your soulmate. Cupid is coming. Like once, I feel like this might be a final test for you. This person from the past is going to come back. Look, backstabbing. You don't want to end this though. Like, you know, I feel like this is going to affect you in some way. You're going to be like, oh, maybe I should take them back. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe they are my soulmate. You know, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Whatever bullshit they're going to tell you, I feel like it comes back to you needing to realize this is a test. As I said, the spirit guides were protecting you. They don't want you in this situation either. You know what I mean? So they are deceptive. They are lying to you. Yeah, you look, cycle completion in reverse. You need enclosure. Exactly what I've been saying this entire time. That was like the first thing I said. You've got chariot in reverse. So there's no success here. You also may feel like you have no, oh, God, yeah. You feel like you have no direction, but I'm telling you, there is no tranquility here. This person may want to reconcile with you. They're going to come in with their bullshit message of love. They're a page, right? Immature. Somebody who, I oh, just I feel like you're wasting your time, right? You need to do healing and recovery.
We've got five of wands in reverse. So I feel like you're probably going to take them back because you want to avoid conflict. But either you don't realise that, you know, this person's probably still seeing other people. But they know other people are attracted to you. Oh, moon in reverse. <laughs> you probably have a lot of inner confusion, repressed emotions, fear, but you're not seeing everything. You need to just be happy being alone. And with the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like this is, you know, you're doing the work. You've got to continue. It's work in progress, but you are working on becoming more independent. Yeah, manifest what it is you do want. Because this person is not your divine counterpart. So they're telling you, you need to, this is not your person. All right, that is what I have for you, Aries. Um, yeah, I hope that resonates and um, I'll catch you with the next read. Thanks for watching. Bye.